It's been a devastating week in Canton. The community is mourning the loss of a beloved and young student athlete. Meanwhile, his sister remains hospitalized. Jose Alonso spoke to a family friend in Canton today who says it's a tough time for the community right now, but they're being surrounded with an outpouring of community support. We are continuing to track that story right now, but we will know that tomorrow night to honor Wyatt, K through sixth graders will be able to run out of the tunnel at the Canton High School football game. Third to fifth grade boys will be able to stay on the field to do a coin toss also in his honor. Additionally, everybody is encouraged to wear green. Those neighboring districts, Edgewood and Wills Point ISDs are allowing their students and staff to show support. Wyatt's sister Alexis is currently in a Tyler hospital where the family says that she is recovering from her injuries. They also say that they're thankful for the outpouring of community support. If you want to contribute to help the Bray family, we'll have information on where you can purchase a t-shirt or donate to their GoFundMe on CBS19.tv. We also have an update tonight on Cooper Reed. He's been accepted into a rehab facility where he can continue to heal. Cooper will be transferred within 24 hours once the insurance authorization comes through. He'll get to have somebody stay with him and they can have a second visitor during the day. And from now on, the young warrior will have therapy every day for three hours a day, seven days a week. His loved ones say that he's been doing well at Christus and that they're thankful for all the prayers and support. We now have the story that we were talking about with the young student athlete that passed away in Canton and Jose Alonso was able to talk to some of his family, friends, and this is what they had to say. He's one of the most compassionate kids, kind-hearted. Never saw him have a bad day. Nine-year-old Wyatt Bray lived in Canton, where a family friend says he attended Canton Intermediate, played flag football, and was surrounded by friends. He was my, one of my son's best friends. Anybody he met, he was friends with. You know, he just, he had this smile that was infectious. Lane Chambers met the Bray family through Wyatt in flag football. He now has memories of Wyatt that will last in his heart forever. I told him when he entered my household and he and my son were friends, I said, look, make yourself at home. And he did. And I'd hear him come sliding through the kitchen, ripping the pantry open and raiding the snacks. And it was, uh, you know, it was that, just the smallest little thing that, you know, that makes me smile. Since the accident, the community stepped up right away with the Texas Varsity Flag Football Association starting fundraisers for the Bray family. And Texas Varsity Flag Football felt strong to use our platform to help, if anything, alleviate a little bit of this challenge that the Bray family is going through and this heartache. Casey Northcutt says he saw Wyatt grow as a football player. In this recent picture from last weekend, you can see Wyatt running a football away from Casey's son. We've uh, created a, a Facebook page and it's Play for Bray. Anybody can go follow it. We're selling shirts through that platform. And we've also created a GoFundMe account for, uh, for Wyatt and the Bray family. I'm asking for peace for the family for them to start the healing process. It's a terrible thing, but it's also, there's beauty in it. There's gonna be a whole lot of good that comes out of this real dark hour. In Canton, Jose Alonso, CBS 19.